I am also what's popping this Ebenezer for the vault. Um, a month in the Rahu Mahadasha. I came home yesterday. I was like, some told me just look up the birth child for DC. And so here we are. Me and DC got this. We got Rahu and Virgo. And we got Soul playing and Saturn. So I'm going to just go over the energies for DC. This is September 9th, 1791. This was the date that I got. Bring up snip and sketch. So we just recognize where the energies are in the chart. Uh, main thing I noticed though, like when I first seen it, first glance, I noticed this this con this conjunction. And then I also notice this. And then there's nothing near the moon. Moon is kind of isolated. It's mild chemodroma. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. So, <clears throat> so erasing this, let's just go. Let's just work through it. Starting with the sun. Well, Ascendant is in a star called Arger, ruled by Rahu. It's Tiksha, sharp star associated with black magic, murder, ambushes, setting traps for people, stuff like that. Destructive and shock just destroy to create way for new, well, destroy to create. Make space for new creation. All right. So sun is in, sun represents soul. Sun is in the third house. So this is... And sun is an own sign at third house. This gives fullness of efforts, fullness of skills. Sun and fire is active, energetic, it's bold. Sun and Leo is kind of fixated on its own way of expressing itself. So DC is a very proud kind of city. Very proud, proud of the Leo is kind of like what I said. So proud of the lineage and stuff like that. Very proud, courageous, maybe generous, but you know, kind of full of themselves. This is Purple Falgoni, so arts, entertainment, beauty, museums, all that stuff, stuff is, uh, will be seen as important. Moon is in the eighth house and Capricorn, so the mind, the instincts, it's kind of cold-hearted. DC will be seen as being lonely, isolated, lacking um, in some areas. But, hold on, hold on, hold on. When the Capricorn is cold-hearted, emotionally distant, very guarded, practical, hard to reach. Moon and Capricorns can sometimes show melancholy, which is just a state of being sad without any reason. Or depression. Depression is really just repressed anger. You know what I'm saying? So with mild chemodroma, it's no plan. It's on the left and the right. So there's no plan. Oh, that's erased. But there's no planets here, it's no planets here, so it's kind of like lonely, it's introverted. DC keeps to itself, but it's very hard working and serious, determined about its goals, loyal and devoted to those that it loves, right? Odd. Erase these things. Next, Mercury. Mercury is our intellect, analytical mind, our rational kind of mind. 
logic, right? He used his logic. Mercury is in his exaltation sign, but at 22 degrees, he is on sign. He not more tricone. Right? So, he comfortable. There's comfortable communication, being able to see certain patterns, people, you know, peep what's going on, very sharp and keen, able to adapt to different obstacles and changes within the environment. It's Earth. Mercury and Earth. Is a real grounded, practical, and realistic kind of intellect. So it, it's very smart. DC is very smart. Quickly catch on to things. You dig on Sam. Favorable, favorable. Um, Mercury is with Rahu. That's like an evil genius placement. That's um, if you ever seen Wall Street, they both are in house. The house that is Jordan Belfort. That's Wolf of Wall Street. So scamming, flam flamming. But when Mercury get with Rahu, he get a little like terrible. He invokes Rahu invokes fear and stress and stuff like that. So it really be extortion. It's just Mercury is a salesman. Rahu is like a goon. The standing, not the standing army, but the forward marching army. So imagine somebody trying to sell you something, but they, it's really just like, it's just extortion. DC is taxation without representation. You do what I'm saying? You ain't been represented. You've been extorted. You dig what I'm saying? And they are with Jupiter, who is naturally, Jupiter lives in a treasure house. So, yeah, Mercury could be an account, IRS, all of that there is in, located in D.C. And then this is the full from the ascendant. Fourth house is the northern direction. So, like, when you get to the heart of the city, you get all the little governmental buildings and stuff like that. Treasury, all that stuff up there. Um, next is Venus. Venus shows the love nature. Um, how one enjoys themselves and how one uh, experiences pleasure, receives pleasure, and gives pleasure. Venus is in Libra, so Venus is in the air sign. Pleasure comes through relationships, interacting, relating to others. You feel me? Very strong. So it's a very, DC is very flirty. Washington, DC is flirty. It's a very charming kind of city. My favorite place. So what's this? North. West, yeah, yeah, like we get into the north northwestern direction, and and you gonna find the museums, a lot of museums. Further northwest you go, you find a lot of uh, estates that you can go to. They're beautiful, got gardens and all of that. Venus is lord of flowers and stuff like that. Um. I guess Venus and Libra in this chart, that'd be kind of like you at going towards DuPont Circle. You want to see a lot of that, a lot of that, you feel me? Um, real passionate. Venus and Libra is probably a lot of affairs. Venus is strong and wants to initiate through partnerships, relations, filial love, so sex and business. You can make some money. You know, got your little girlfriends, got your little boyfriends. You know, you do your thing. But it's Venus strong, so it's like, um, I guess in relationships, might be a sense of entitlement there. Venus is with Neptune, so you might not see these people correctly. It's some things you're not aware of, some self sacrificing and self-sabotaging elements in the relationships, right? All right, cool. Next planet is Mars. Mars is in Cancer. This is what I noticed, like, immediate after this Rahu Mercury placement, I noticed Mars was in Cancer. Mars is debilitated in Cancer. He's not strong. Moon is dispositive for Mars, and Capricorn is a little, it's away from our own sign. It helps Mars out, but it's not so strong. Moon is also eighth house, so it, it brings anxiety and depression. 
So what they kind of tell you. Mars means it's one's efforts, willpower, aggression. So Mars and Cancer is fiery and broken emotions. It's like the emotional nature is a bit angry and volatile. Mars is with Uranus, so it's very unpredictable. Not only is it volatile, but it's unpredictable. And generational, I don't know. Mars and Cancer is like early, is an abusive early childhood, maybe kind of like very turbulent, but then also it's like could be misplaced anger. It's like it's just waiting to come out. That's showing you why that Moon and Capricorn having to be a little bit uh, guarded about how you react to things, knowing that under underneath that is some volatility. Right, uh, Jupiter. So let me erase this. Jupiter is in Virgo. Jupiter represents one's expansion, wisdom, luck. What you learn and stuff. So you 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 end up learning, being taught how to swindle. Or how to see, you know, the okie doke coming. So it's cautious expansion, patient expansion, uh, breaking down of the bigger picture, or you know, being too detailed and too nitpicky to see the bigger picture. You dig know what I'm saying? So the expansion is real, like it's it's it's. Uh, Adaptable expansion. Jupiter being away from own sign in this instance, it's going to create. It's not going to be as expansive as, say, Sagittarius or Pisces, but instead it's like a patient. I don't, I don't know how I put that. But it's going to be cautious. It's like, you know, okay, opportunity comes. Is you going to jump on it? And you might not. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. But there's expansion. It's like, oh, I got to be a little more patient with that. Luck comes through. I like working for it. So Saturn is next. Saturn is a planet of transformation. Karma, difficulties, uh, responsibilities. Saturn is in Pisces. So this is structured changes, a structured faith, spirituality, Saturn's in the tenth. So the way one is seen is real is is your reputation is created over time with hard work, tangible kind of results. Um Saturn at war. So it's compassionate changes. Uh, yeah, Saturn is with K2. So the spiritual nature is also either restricted, uh, I don't want to say that it will lead to like uh, not atheism or a lack of that, but it's some blindness there, some unusualness with that K2 factor. And then, I, so Rahu is one's desires, passions, material enjoyment. So endless passions. Endless detailed passions, being able to uh, like see the structure and find a pattern in one's desires, having realistic desires because it's earth. So you put Rahu on earth, it grounds and makes the desires a bit more tangible and practical in this instance. Mercury is earth element, Jupiter is ether. So it's kind of like really making things happen. Uh, in practical ways, what is a 
So, you know, people talk about manifestation, magic, and all that. And that's cool, but you still got Virgo is like driving a nail. Kill Virgo is tools. Six houses like tools and stuff like that. How you use tools. Uh, third house is hands. Things you do with your hands, but then six houses is kind of like taking that further. It's like tools, weapons, uh, other people, just things that you can utilize. So you're driving that nail in there with that. Uh, yeah, making desires practical. That's why Rahu is very good and the fixed earth sign a Taurus. Big one, I'm saying. And then K2 is detachment, spirituality, or the spiritual nature, the immaterial experience. K2 is in Pisces. This is like co lord sign, or he might just be uh, seen as having good strength, more Tracon and Pisces. So K2 is spirituality that adapts through faith and compassion. Or it could be a chaotic spiritual growth or a chaotic temperament. Variegated and spiritual temperament. You dig on saying. Uh, I mean, and then what was I gonna say? So the directions. Gemini would be the east side of Washington D.C. The east side would mean it's kind of like this Mercury. Mercury lives in like a sports area. Oh, RFK Stadium is on the east side. So Mercury lives in the was RFK was on the east side. Um, and then past that, like FedEx Field is in Maryland. That's kind of like over east and in that Maryland section and stuff like that. So then you got Gemini's east side. Mercury. Mercury is a merchant and earthy. So it's probably, it's, it's, it's a lot of parts and stuff like that. You got the Arboretum over there. Cancer is now, we get east. East, east, north, northeast section. Right, we kind of getting towards the Mars and Cancer. We'll say it's a little kind of treacherous. Real back doors, but also just volatile. It's a war zone in Northeast, perhaps. Um, unpredictable elements in Northeast. Feel me? Domestic violence. Just overall, like the threat of violence is there. Um, Yeah, uh, so then Leo would be, we get into like uptown then. Leo would be uptown, uh, what area? Getting towards the heart. And if we want to say the heart, we'll call that like where we put, like, where I see it, like IRS buildings. And then you're going to have the National Mall that will kind of be a, up there. Wherever the politicians at. Virgo is probably Capitol Hill. Virgo is actually Washington, D.C.'s Aruda Lagna. And you see that right? Yeah. Aruda Lagna. So Virgo is Washington, D.C.'s Aruda Lagna. So that means Washington, D.C. is perceived as being like a place where the politicians, the uh, vendors, traders, uh, and teachers, gurus, and stuff like that. They all kind of congregate there and discuss matters and stuff like that, right? I will have to look at the D9 after this. I want to see something. I seen another technique. But I'm trying to stay back to the basics. So, I guess Leo, Leo, Leo is, will be like uptown. 
Cancer is going to be like Northeast. Leo will be uptown. Sun and Leo, they're very proud, flashy. This is Purple Falguni Leo, so it's flashy. It's, matter of fact, uptown, this is, what the fuck? Young Gleesh from D.C., Purple Falguni Moon, in that area of the city is where uh, he's from. Kind of in that, like, and it's getting closer to that Virgo part. And Virgo will be clean side. You think I'm saying Virgo is about being clean and all of that. So that's clean side. So Leo, it's like uptown. And they might be more flesh. They might be more um, <laughs> sun and Leo full of themselves and self-centered. And like, look at me and look at me. And <laughs> I got to stand out and check this out. So then Virgo is like uptown. That's where you get into, uh, clean, I guess you would say clean side. You'll put the hospital there. It's Virgo. Like my nigga is Virgo. It's going to be kind of the hospitals and stuff like that. Um, hospice, taking care of things, paying attention to certain details and different fluctuations. So yeah, um, possibly like traffic. So if that's uptown, Libra is getting, Libra would be, we start moving west. So Libra, we'll call that archives because we want to say it's Venus and Libra. So it's got to be the most, we're getting towards the more beautiful, spacious because it's an air sign, Venus and air, the more spacious kind of places. Venus is with Neptune. Neptune is like Poseidon and But it's old, it's a little, it, it's, it, I, I feel like it would show certain symbolism and stuff like that. You dig what I'm saying? Maybe even places near the water. So places by the river, you get to like, I guess we could say we're getting towards Georgetown. Nah, not, not necessarily approaching Georgetown, but we'll say like, From archives to DuPont. Now, what will Scorpio be? Scorpio, if Sagittarius is the west side of DC, and Sagittarius also assign a higher learner, so we'll associate that with the colleges. Scorpio would be like Kennedy or something like that. Archives because Scorpio is the hidden area. Scorpio, Mars, Mars is conflict, quarrels, but Scorpio is like kind of underground, hidden, secluded area. So it's, it's, it's going to be a lot more alias, possibly a lot more quiet and peaceful. But now, maybe that's the other part. So this might be like First Street, Leo and all of that might be like that part of uptown. And then maybe this is clean side. This would be like Columbia Heights or some Scorpio could possibly be like the Columbia Heights area and George, getting to Georgia Ave. Maybe because you got that Main Street show, but then there's so many different little parts you cut off at, but um yeah you step off there and now you might be find yourself in a hole and scorpio is holes oh you in a tight spot scorpio is a tight spot so that might be um that's probably that part of the city <clears throat> then like i said sagittarius that's gonna be where we put georgetown howard we get Shaw maybe and stuff like that because it's how you learn. So wherever the college students is, what's that? Um, Catholic University and things like that. Now, Moon and Capricorn. That's the eighth house. And then we go from west and now we go on to like west, west, south. Stuff like that. So Southwest. And we get into the parts of Washington. So I'm I'm right here right now. 
I'm right here. This is, we said this gonna be like G-Town, Sagittarius. I, uh, growing up, nigga saw like, when I was in my moon, Dasha, my moon is in Sagittarius. I was taking classes up there in high school and shit like that. So, and I, I, I be feeling comfortable as hell. If I got moon and Sag, uh, the area of a city represented by Sagittarius would show a certain amount of comfort. You dig know what I'm saying? For them types. So this would probably be, I'm going to think, Aquarius is naturally the southeast direction in a natural chart. So on this side, it's probably Aquarius, Capricorn, ruled by Saturn. This is just going to be the, we getting towards the south side now. Right? Um... What would I call that? The western is the western. We're not exactly on the south, but we're getting there. I'm like Jones Point. Because this is the chart when they, it was a big ass square. Like the, 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 the first time they had a, oh, that's how went down. But this is the first time they had decided to, this before they ceded the land back to Maryland and Virginia. So this part really is, is, is kind of the sudden reversal. It's like, oh, it was taken away from you and stuff like that. So that might be that area, which you know, I guess it would be parts of Virginia, but that's like the waters and stuff. And then Aquarius, that's going to be... Maybe y'all. If not that whole John, maybe y'all. Unless Saturn and Pisces is maybe y'all. Saturn and Pisces is really the south side. Saturn is uh, a malefic. It just represents all that could go wrong. And K2 and Pisces. Saturn represent transformation, karma, difficulties in the southern direction of this chart. That's kind of interesting. I ain't going to act like I know what's going on. I'm just trying to figure this out. Like anybody else, this, that's interesting to think about there's a headless aspect <laughs> saturn represent pollution k2 and that rahu also represent poison feel me underworld elements and then like also kind of like abusive obsessive elements too and then you got saturn pollution ashes and then K2 is poison, poison that heal or destroy, but it's a snake, it's a dragon, it's, it's poison. And then you got Pisces, that's the water. So there's something in the water, maybe. Um, I wouldn't trust it. And, and the rivers that like flow through there. Rivers, we got two rivers. It got, you know, you go right to the park. You got Anacostia. You go on the west side and stuff like that. That's probably like where Scorpio at. Scorpio might be like that. Oh my and then Aries is in Aries is exactly the southeastern direction, and then the lower of the southeast direction. Is debilitated in cancer. It's very volatile in that area of the city. We could say like it can really um Aries is the spark of the zodiac. So you know, and then Taurus actually might be Navy. Odd. Aquarius would be like somewhere in Southwest. You feel me? But Taurus would probably be Navy Yard. Taurus is like a field. It's a field. 
it's fertile. It's 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 gonna be some wolf. It's gonna be some water there. Venus is a water planet, water element planet, and Lord of Taurus. So it's gonna be some water there. But yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of like yeah. That was cool. I like that. I didn't think about that. I'm a, I'm a, I'll probably try that with another city and shit like that. I'll probably do Jersey because that parking pissed me off when I was up there. I was like, this doesn't even make sense. What is the fourth house for Jersey? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fourth house is vehicles, conveyances. Like, what's the fourth house situation? What's the fourth from moon situation in Jersey? Fourth from moon and, uh, DC is Aries. The drivers, they really get, they get busy. They get busy. Four from moon is same from Aries. So we can, we can, we can say that the public, when they driving and they getting busy and stuff like that, man, they very focused. The star transport of Sweeney is like right there in Aries. So they can drive. I ain't ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. Uh, and naturally, it's, you know, it might look crazy, but naturally it's some defensive drivers in D.C. That is, I can't speak on the chart for Maryland and Virginia. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Moon is dispositive by Saturn. It gets focused. Saturn can give focus for sure. K2 gives, K2 and Rahu both give focus because they were part of one being that was just so totally hell bent on getting their portion of things. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna bat this. It's like all the configurations and stuff like that were really cool, man. You see this and you think about like, man, the, uh, how the crime ends because it's, it's real. Like, all, right. all cities have their thing. You know what I'm saying? We'll look into that. But you think about crime and like, what it's really and it'd be like nah like moon opposite Mars it's it's like I hurt you for those that I love or something like that or like <laughs> don't play don't look Mars don't play with some of my boundaries like just chill 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 cause it's yeah It's like, hey, I'm talking about that abusive shit. That's all over. That shit has to stop. But I like it. I'm going to try with another one.